Tyler Wells, the Orioles' number three starter to begin the season, looking to build and build in his fourth year as an Oriole. Nolan Shauna Well is the batter against Wells. And now looping one towards shallow right center field. That gives him 32. Nolan Shonowell has the Angels' first hit, and now 32 consecutive games he has reached base safely to begin his major league career. Taylor Ward had a good game yesterday, including a home run, a couple RBIs. There's a drive out toward left. Austin Hayes is back for this. He looks up at the wall. It is gone. A home run. Taylor Ward has given the Angels an early lead. He rips his second home run in as many days. 107 miles per hour off the bat. Taylor Ward, just like that, the halo is up 2 0. It's just their second lead of the series, and it's their first multi run lead of the series. Reed Detmers puts up a zero in the bottom of the first. And now the Angels batting with the advantage. A little tapper, it might be a tough play. It's McCann who calls for it. Off balance throw, not in time. He's off the bag. Mountcastle got pulled off the base. You can see McCann's footwork was a little sloppy picking up the baseball and getting that throw off. Here's Zach Neto. Neto lines a base hit to left center field. That'll bring home a run. Renhifo heads for the plate. Zach Neto from the number nine spot makes it 3 0 Angels with an RBI single. First hit of the season. It's an RBI single for Zach Neto. That ball was hit hard. Throw to third behind the runner, hits Ohapi and goes down the left field line. Ohapi scores. Neto will hold at third base as James McCann took a chance to throw behind Ohapi and he hands the Angels another run. It's 4 0. I think they had a shot at him too if it didn't hit Ohapi. That was a quick decision. Detmer is a 1 2 3 first, beginning the second. And Ooh. Mullins is drilled. Well, this is how you get back in the ball game right here. Walk a hit by pitch. It looked like it hit him in a good spot if possible. A lot of padding right there. Got him right off that elbow pad. Henderson put on a laser show <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> he walked him. No, you don't. That's a gutsy pitch. Gunnar Henderson drives in a run by taking ball four. It puts the Orioles on the board. This is exactly what the Angels have continued to talk about. Not letting the innings get too big. Rutschman with a bouncer to third, but Hefo has it, takes it to the bag, and Reed Detmers avoids a chaotic inning. Taylor Ward homered yesterday and now homering in back to back games. Ward got a short, good pick by Henderson. And Mountcastle had to dig it out at first as well. Now Brandon Drury, who struck out his first time. A little jam shout out to short there. Henderson oh. with a pick. Oh, Henderson with the bazooka. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, now. Oh, Are you kidding me? That was an outstanding play. Now you can see why he's such a fan favorite. One ball and two strikes on Santander. Swing and a miss. Strike three. I think he had him looking high fastball there because it's almost as if he was tracking. So he got a couple of those four seam fastballs by him upstairs. As if he was anticipating that again. Hayes flied to right field his first time. Swing and a miss. Reed Detmers powers the fastball by Hayes. Well, Hoppy, three for six, two walks. Very good opening series for him. And a very good changeup fells him. That's the old difference maker right there. And after you show 94, which was his best fastball velo of the day. You can back it up with this right here and just kind of pulls the string. Big difference, 86 to 94. Well done by Tyler Wells. High cutter Wells sets fire to the bat of Adele in a 1, 2, 3, 4. Reed Detmer is trying to change how things went for him in 2023. Well, he was pretty good today, likely done after five innings. Seven strikeouts, only two hits allowed, one run, and he's in line for the win. Yeah, he threw the ball really, really well. Just that little hiccup there. In the second inning, where that pitch count went up a bit, but outstanding stuff. His fastball, you mentioned that, how many swing and misses he got by his fastball, that's impressive. Tyler Wells got off to a rocky start and has been great since. Look at the strikeout, the side, and the sixth. Going upstairs, well done. How about oh. that? That's how you do it right there, folks. Tyler Wells ended his day beautifully. He was outstanding on the mound after the first time through the order the first time through the order the Angels had five hits and four runs after that Wells ended up with seven strikeouts including the last three that he faced in the sixth the Dylan Tate now making his second appearance of the year of course didn't pitch at all in 23 with elbow problems well, Hoppy's one for two with a single and a run score and he gets hit by a pitch first pitch from Dylan Tate and Hoppy gets hit up around the left arm so he'll be aboard the Angels have their first base runner since Zach Neto's RBI single in the second inning. Here's Adele. 
This is what he does best, right? He creates double plays. Wow. And that was brilliantly <laughs> turned. Mateo and Henderson to Mount Castle to get the O's out of the inning. Jose Soriano on the mound for the seventh inning. He was electric in the sixth. The ball two strikes on James McCann. McCann rolls one in the right field. He just threw his bat at it. And found an open space on the right side, so that's a one-out single. And the Orioles have their first hit since the second inning. The Orioles will pitch it. Tony Kemp for Jorge Mateo. 4-1 Angels here in the seventh, and time was Whoa. called very late. Oh, oh no, it was a violation yeah. actually. So, wow. speaking of the new rules, <laughs> yeah. they rear their ugly head for Los Angeles. A timer violation against Soriano, and Kemp gets an automatic walk. If you're the Orioles, you hope you have the right guy up. And that is Gunnar Henderson. It's a slow bouncer to second base here. Drury will go to second for the force out. Meadow will have no play at first. The second out is recorded. Henderson bounces into a fielder's choice. And he was aggressive on that one as a fastball 99 down. Yeah, nice play. Lead runner. Not going to get two. Nobody up in the Angels' bullpen. Again, this is the plan for three or four inning outings from Soriano. This is his second inning of work. Rutschman lines with the left coming in. Taylor Ward makes the catch. Trust your fielders. Three balls and a strike here on Neto. Well, he walks Neto, the leadoff hitter here. So the nine man is on for a second time. The Angels' first walk of the game. You, know, you, you got Rendon who hasn't gotten a hit in this series but can handle the bat. You got somebody that can run a little bit. And a pretty big lead. And most importantly, yeah. you have the lead. Yeah, there he goes. The they pitch out. They were ready uh, for it. Wow. The can to Kemp. It's a yeah. strike, and Neto is cut down. Well, these Oreo yeah. catchers <laughs> last year proved to be arguably the best one two punch of any catcher combination in baseball. And James McCann is known as a catch and throw guy. You talk about catch, pitch out perfectly right in the chest, and a dart down to Tony Kemp, and no chance at all for Zach Neto. I mean, he is out by a country mile. 4-1 lead for the Angels though who are trying to spoil the party somewhat. How about having back to back Tommy Johns and still being able to throw 100. Oh, oh flank. Big break. Yes. Shot a well to Soriano right off the glove and the Orioles catch a huge break as Mountcastle reaches first. Looked like he had a toaster in his glove. He just <laughs> shot that ball right out. Looked pretty routine. Until it isn't. Right? Until it isn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's our first look at Yanir Cano in 2024. How about that oh. catch down the line, huh? One of the best catches of the day. There you go, 2 4. Ball slicing, slicing towards the net. And how about this play? Off the tarp or clean? Oh, look at that pick. That is awesome. Well, Washington knew this kind of day would come, and we'll be happy to see the Angels close it out here and get that first win. Kemp lines one to center. Mike Trout is right there. Say goodnight to the Orioles. The Angels have their first win of 2024. A well-pitched game, some early offense, and the Angels knock off the Orioles 4-1. to one.